Okay, welcome back. Um, today we have got a new plugin called uh, Drawbridge, and we have working drawbridges in Rust. So as you can see here, this is a couple of bridges that, that's a bit bugged out. You can, there might be a, a wall there you can't really see it because it's a bit buggy. Brand new plugin from uh, Colon Blow, who has been making some excellent plugins recently. And um, yeah, I just want to show you how this plugin works and see how you could possibly use it for your server. Now this, this is a plugin that you could give to your players. Um, you could allow maybe say two drawbridges per person. Um, or you could change that also. Um, but you could also have a VIP on your server potentially, which would allow them maybe up to ten, which is already in the plugin if you want to use that. Now, um, obviously the main reason to have drawbridges in your um, game is to have working platforms. Now let me demonstrate quickly. And this is one I built earlier. I'll just show you the basic mechanics of it. And you can see there, we have drawbridges opening up. Now these ones aren't static, let's just fix itself. These ones are just a demonstration thing for the for the actual for a photograph. So I'll just show you quickly how to build one. Now to get to use to build these, you do need to be um, have permission um, from the plugin, and you also need to. You also need to um, have a, access as admin to use some of the extra features. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to just basically build one. So what you can do is you can build it onto floors or floors, uh, sorry, foundations or floors, which can be, all this can be controlled by uh, the configuration file. Now, so if I place down a foundation and I stand in the foundation, if I, if I do type in uh, uh, bridge build, Uh, bridge dot build, I should say, forward slash bridge dot build. All the commands will be on the plugin page if you want to check it out first before you buy it. Uh, that's another thing I have to say. This plugin is also twenty dollars to buy, but I think it's well worth it because at the end of the day, uh, the dynamics for building with this and that, something like this is just quite incredible. Now here's here's a standard one that just built. So you can see as soon as I did a bridge build on my foundation, uh, a, a two length uh, drawbridge appeared. Now I can control that with bridge use. Or bridge dot. All the commands are bridge dot something. Bridge dot use. It's got quite a annoying noise, but uh, he's already said he'll get rid of that. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, so you can see there, if I go bridge use again, and it raises the drawbridge. So obviously, if you had like say a medieval server or a, um, possibly a server that was, uh, you know. For a role play, perhaps, then you can maybe have like castles and drawbridges and stuff and moats and stuff. So it makes it's pretty cool for base building, especially people that want to do that kind of thing. So that's your real basic, simple how to make one. Okay. Now, what you can also do though um, is you can build them on, like, say, a floor. So if I was to build a foundation here and then a couple of walls, uh, and then I would do <coughs> put a floor on. And if I stand on this floor here on top, I could do the same command bridge dot build. And it appears there. Now, obviously, I'll, I'll stand facing this way, but it appeared here. Come on, colon. How, how can we control this? I'm not really sure. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe look at a corner. But um, but let's say I want to have it go that way. Then another command you can use is bridge dot rotate. And you can see it just goes 90 degrees. So you can just keep to rotate, 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 and it'll go round, 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 and round. Now, um, there are shortcuts you can use for these, by the way. I haven't just Put, put them in yet, but you can use shortcuts to do these things. So now I can see, you can see there I've built a, a foundation and I've built a floor. And if I use bridge use, you see actually both of these working at the same time. Now. Let me just demonstrate this. I've got, I, built, I built a few cool things as well to show you with this plugin. Bridge dot use, and you can see there they both are uh, controlled. Now you may be thinking. Why did they both move? Well, the reason they both moved is I'm really close to both of them, which you can change in a plugin. You can change the distance you control each one from. So let's say I wanted to have this one over here and this one over here. I could change it to like 0 0.1, so I'd have to be like this close to control it. So obviously that would be um, that'd be cool. Now another thing that's quite interesting you can do, which I was going to show you later, but I'll just show you now. Let's say you've put um, your foundation down here, okay? Now what you can do is you can do a bridge set plate.
And you can see now there's a, there's a, a, a mine there. And now what happens, the way that works is if, if me or a clanmate or friend, um, I can walk on that and it activates the ramp. So let's say I had to have a base and I was thinking to myself, I don't want to have to type in bridge use or set up a, a short key or short whatever. You can just have these in your base for you and your clan mates to hit and bingo, there you go. Now the, there's a few bugs with these, but if I build onto the edge of this at the moment, I mean, the plugin developer Colin knows about this. If I do this, there's actually a bug that makes it blow up, but he knows about this. He's already mentioned it's no big deal. That's going to get fixed, right? And all that's done there is actually not killed the bridge. It's, it's killed the, uh, just the, the, the set plate thing you stand on. Now, these are completely destroyable like normal things, so, you know, if I want to just, I can just break that, you know, it's not going to be a problem. These things aren't, um, you know, like invincible or anything, so obviously if you want to build a bridge in your house, you have to put up to heavy metal, high metal. Now, the other thing that's worth showing you, um, quickly, now, let me just quickly go down to a lower level of metal here. Let's go down to wood or something for this for a second. Let's see, I've now gone to wood, okay, on the actual bridge section. There we go, good old uber tool. Now, um, so I've got down to wood here now. Obviously at the moment it's still showing high metal there and wood here, but if I just um, make the bridge work... It will actually automatically convert to the next level of uh, material that you've changed it to. So obviously if I change this up to say... Um, one second, I'll just give myself some stones, I don't actually have any. <coughs> I could go up to stone, and now obviously that stays wood just now, but when I use it... Um, it now converts to stone, which is actually excellent, which means you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. You don't have to upgrade your bridge and shit, you just upgrade the, the, the actual foundation that's on, or the floor. Right, okay, so that's the simple mechanics of how to build them, rotate them. Um, also, there's simple commands like bridge destroy, which I can use when I'm standing next to one. Uh, it doesn't work because I'm not standing next to the foundation, but that's my fault. Don't worry, if you can get the idea, you can break them, blow them up as well. Now, um, that's a new arena I just built. Check this out. I built this last night. What do you think of this arena I just built? Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, distracted. Right, so what I'll show you next. Um, I'll show you some more simple stuff first. Um, so this here, um, um, you can see there's a couple of bugs here with the the way it works. You can't actually see the uh, platform there, but so when I get close to it, you can see it. It's just a bug, but I mean, it sort of comes and goes. When it moves, it kind of fixes itself. Now you can see here I've done like, uh, whoops, I just fell in the water. Uh, you can see I've done like two bridges uh, joined with uh, two squares, whatever. So I want to do bridge use here. And you can see they're all connected. And that's me opening up. So obviously you could create, you know, multiple bridges, each one connected to us. There you go, let's fix, fix itself. Multiple bridges and each one fixing itself. Uh, um, so you can have a giant base basically, <coughs> with loads of bridges, and all the bridges could have like different sort of ways of getting in and out your different levels of your base or, or whatever. So you can have these really cool things. Now, one more thing I want to show you quickly. This is actually really an admin only thing, but it's worth showing you. Um, so let's say, for example, this one's just sitting straight up and down, you know, and that's just the angle it's at. I can actually change the angle of this. So let me say I want to make it 45 degrees. Bridge set ramp 45 for 45 degrees, and you can see there the bridge will now is its fixed position is right here. So basically, I can make a ramp. I can do 45, 35, 25. I can I just do like a bunch of angles to have, have, have exactly the slope you want. So unlike normally, where your only option for a slope is this, this is your only slope in the game, basically pretty much as a building part. Now with these, you can have. Well, let's just do a wee test. Let's do like really short. Go to 25, and you can see there it just lifts up from a 45 angle to a 25. So there you go, you've now got an angle in the game, a building part technically, in the game which could never ever be available before, which is a 25 degree angled sloped wall, or floor, or whatever, double floor in fact. Um, now, I think there's something else I'm missing here, one sec. Oh yeah, now obviously, importantly, let's say for example you're leaving your base, and imagine your base was here and you had water between you. What you would do is you would uh, lock your bridge by doing bridge lock. Bridge is now locked in place, so that means I can't move it without... I'd have to unlock it first before I could even move it myself. Now, when you're building these things as well, you can set it so that only your friends can use them and stuff. 
So it's not like a, a guy can walk up to your base and just like open your bridge and pile straight in. Like you wouldn't be able to do it. You could destroy it and you could still blow a hole in your wall and rob you, but that's what it is, you know. Right, one more weird thing to show you. This is basically um, again another admin only option. You wouldn't get this if if he was given it to in the game band by a, a server. This is basically a normal block which I built first. I put a bridge on it, and then I use this um, invert command. So now we have a, an inverted, upside down foundation. I don't know how this would actually. Can you actually ever try to see if you can link to this? Oh my god, you can. Well, I can with this tool. You probably will do this in game the way I've got these floating. So actually, you can build on it. But what I was going to show you is now it's upside down. So let's say, for example, you had like I don't know, like a, a doorway here. What you could do is you could have the bridge acting like a, do a door. Sorry for all these commands, guys. I'll just the way it is in a moment. Um, so you can go see. So obviously, if that was like, imagine this was your base here, you could have that as you know, like a not a drawbridge anymore. It actually acts as a, as a door kind of thing. You know, it's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, I'll show you a few more cool things now, and then we'll, we'll wrap the video up. So this is just this is plugin, as I say again, is not free. It is twenty dollars, which is fourteen pounds UK roughly at the moment. It's not really a lot of money if you think about it. Think of all the fun you can have with this. All the different things you could build. I mean, I built these things in like half an hour. I built four or five things, which I'll let you see. Right, so oh shit, I think we've got enemies on the server. Right, so this is another one I built earlier. This is a little sort of mini house I built. So I can all go in here, and you can see the house there is um, a cool house, and it looks a little bit differently than normal. That's because it is actually a bridge house. I'll show you how it works. Bingo! So you see here, I've made myself a little doorway. I've now got a walkway into my base. And it's the whole base opened up, so I can now, you know, you could do that. So you could probably do those upside down blocks, and you could have these doors opening up the way and out, rather than from that way it is. Now, what I've also done is, I've ran at my base, I've just made it in, I'm getting chased, whatever. I've put a, a pressure pad in here, run over it, bang. My motherfucking house is secure again! Yeah, man, you see what I'm saying? So there's fun with this, because it's endless angles, there's different ways you can put things in, and so on. Okay, okay, so you can kind of get the idea of what I'm on about here. You can see how how flexible this is to actually add to building. You can do a lot of interesting things with this. A few bugs, brand new plugin, but you know, it's always good. Colin always updates quickly, and he's, he's good. Right, well, I'm going to put on my le left the funnest bit for last. This is actually a real straight rip off of Colin's idea, because I was trying to work out how to do it, and I basically worked it out eventually. So you might have guessed what we're about to do here. We have built a ramp for the car. So what I've done is I have built this foundation section here, we've made it of floors and walls. I've built a, a bridge here and here, but I've set them at a 45 degree angle. Then what I've done is I've come up here, I've used the floor here as, as a bridge, but I've set it at as a 135 degree angle, so basically there's actually two bridges, they're sort of overlapping in the middle here. Um, and they are, so this one's a down 135, so I'm standing on this thing, uh, bridge, um, what was it against uh, set ramp um, 135, and then this was like uh, the bottom one was a uh, um, 45, and they basically link up perfectly because of the way I've done it. Now what I'm going to do now is just for fun. You can see they actually can't actually see it because it's kind of glitching out here. But there's actually a ramp here. You can just about see if you get to the certain angles. A bit buggy. Anyway, so this is going to finish the video off, guys. I've got some guys fighting over some airdrops right next to me. This could be dodgy. Right. Okay. So. Test this out. I've not tried this yet. This could be a complete disaster, but this is how the video is going out, boys. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to get a third person just to make it more fun. Here we go. Uh, the jump is on. Will I even make it to the end without crashing? Ah, oh, it's a total fuck up. Ah, oh, I fail. Okay, I see. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I will just spawn another car and we'll try again. Bingo, another car, let's go. Let's try this shit again. I think it's probably because I'm in third person. I'll just try a normal view, I think. Um, let's try just normal view because it's like... Okay, let's just do it this way. Hopefully I can do it here this time. So the angle there is a bit acute, that's the problem. I should probably think about the angles I set that. Is it going to be too high to do? Ah, oh, this is too high. Oh no, no, I'm flying, it's just slaggy. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah, there we go. You get the idea. I'm still driving around, but I'm actually out of bodies now. Alright, cool. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can see the kind of fun we can have with this. Lots of things we can do here. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, if you're going to do these bridges, by the way, make sure you lock them, or they'll open when you try and go through them and stuff, you know. Alright, so yeah, that's it.
drawbridge plugin. Check it out. Add it to your server. Give the players some fun. At the moment, I've given my players two bridges each, which they can use at their will, and they can destroy them and use them two again. But they can have max two at the moment. I don't want their server to be full of like weird bridges because it's you know. I'm getting shot at by somebody's base here. It's quite entertaining. So I shall go and just laugh at these guys for a second because uh, I'm admin. They'll be like, "What the fuck? Who is it? Where are you, bitch? Where are you? Where are you? In the lighthouse." Anyway, whatever. Alright boys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, peace out. I will see you next time. I'm going to go into my big magical f fucking freaky house. Let's go, bitches. And then good night. Fuck you, you can't shoot me, my house is moving. Alright guys, take it easy.